what's up guys welcome to the video today we are going to be ranking running backs and uh we've got a lot of them uh as you can see so uh today is probably gonna be a longer video peak the haircut i know i'm looking good uh no more long hair i don't know what's going on with this whole side or oh, whatever i don't know which way to point or turn um so yeah let's uh get right into it all right i've got my face cam where i want it so let's start with james cook and with the rookies we have in here we have i see Brees hall and uh i see that we got jk dobbins which we haven't seen much of but yeah let's just rank them where i think that the rookies will be by the end of the year and i think that james i didn't like him coming out of college but he goes to a great situation and i think that he could be an average starter but um it's not really saying much as of now but i think by the end of the year he'll be an average starter zach moss is a is a backup for sure um just not that great uh he might even be in the rb3 they've looked at him plenty of times and he just hasn't looked good so chase edmonds now i think with the role that he will be playing we're gonna go above average starter uh, I don't know if he'll be the pr premier back there, but um, if he's going to play the role everyone expects him to, which is catching the ball out of backfield and still getting, like, carries from, like, the right or left of the quarterback, not exactly as the tailback. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I think that he'll land probably around here. Raheem Mostert, probably an average starter, probably rushes for three, four yards a carry. Gets his touches. I could see him getting, like, 800 yards on the season, maybe. Uh, just what I think, and Sony Michelle probably below average starter, maybe 500 yards like maximum. If he's gonna be playing that RB three back, like we don't know, but he mostly could get hurt, and that's almost a guarantee. I think he's only had one like healthy season where he still missed like three games. So there's that. Damian Harris, I do, I do like Damian Harris. Um, what role he's gonna play this year, I don't know because. Well, Ramon J. Stevenson's gone, right? Uh, let's go look at the Patriots. Uh, depth chart real quick. Patriots. Depth. Chart. I know I didn't have to type it all out, but... Damian Harris. Ramon J. Stevenson is still there. It was his... Uh, who was it that left? And then James White, and they drafted Pierre Strong. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is Ramon J. Stevenson. Uh, probably a backup not my favorite but he catches the ball out of the backfield pretty well Brees Hall as much as I want to put him here I think that he'll be good I think that he'll be an above average starter probably better than both of these guys honestly and Michael Carter average starter I think that that backfield is going to be one of the best in the league for the next three or four years probably they'll have so, if they keep them both around, they can have one dynamic backfield, that's for sure. J.K. Dobbins now. Um, he has the potential to be here. But for now, he's probably going to be right around... No, he'll probably be the top of above average starter. Sorry, I got I to gotta hydrate, man. Stop out here. Um... Gus Edwards, next I do like Gus Edwards, but he's just a clear-cut backup. Uh, I don't know what sort of reps he's getting in practice right now, but I like him at the backup role. He's a good second option. Uh, Samaj P. Ryan, I think, right? Am I saying that wrong? Samaj I ah. Don't even try to correct me as of now. RB3 or backup. I think I'll keep him in the backup. Keep him modest. And um, Nick Chubb is elite as a running back. He is probably one of the best pure runners in the league, if not the best uh, right there. Aside Jonathan Taylor. Cream Hunt, uh, if you guys didn't know, requested a trade to get out of the Browns organization. I don't like what he's doing over there. But um, he's really good. Uh, that's for sure. We saw him in Kansas City early in his career. Uh, one of the best rushers in the league. Dearness Johnson. If he got a chance to start, I would so want to see that. But if he got a chance to start, I would pay to watch it, dude. It, 
He looked so good last year when he had his chances. So I'm going to put him right there. Najee. Uh, Najee Harris. Probably really good. Probably a little bit above Kareem Hunt there. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you can do everything at an exceptional level. Benny Snell is just an RB3. Uh, Devin Singletary. Probably an average starter. I, I think that like fits description perfectly. I would just flatline average starter. Nothing special. We don't know what Marlon Mack's going to do, but these last couple years, I think we've got to put him in below average starter. Rex Burkhead. RB3. Jonathan Taylor. Holy. Oh, probably a little bit better than Nick Chubb as of now as much as i like hate to say it but uh yeah he's looking looking really 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 good last season we'll see if he can continue that naeem hines is a great backup so maybe even a below average starter would fit maybe better than marlon mack travis Etienne. i don't know where he's gonna stack up but i think i think he's gonna be a, a dynamic guy that you can rely on he's gonna be like a chase Edmonds, but probably a little bit better rounded um, maybe I did put Edmonds a little too high. He doesn't really seem to fit in this category right here. Maybe he can develop into something like that. But, um, for now, I think I'll put him in average starter along with the, the th other Miami back and Sony Michelle just here below. I do love James Robinson. If he were to go somewhere like the Texans and put like, he, obviously it's all metaphorically, uh, actually happening no rumors or nothing if you were to head to a team like houston you could carry him on the back for sure with uh no injuries so something i would really enjoy watching would be that but um yeah i think james robinson's uh an elite back um derrick henry just gotta go elite with him uh probably the best power runner in all of the nfl right now uh i'm sure he'll come back and put up another 2000 yard season and this is right here. I got to think of his name. DeAndre Hilliard. Hilliard, I think it is. Uh, he's just an RB3 to back up. Um, I think he'll be the RB2 or 3 there this year. Maybe even 2. But uh, yeah, Javante. Whatever, what we've seen out of him has probably been about here. But he has the potential to do really, really, really good. Um, I'm going to put him there. I'm going to put him. All right. All right. Lay off. Lay off me. But by the end of the season, which is what I seem to be doing, like with this, I didn't know I was, how I was going to do it, but obviously I'm ranking how I think they're going to do. Devontae Williams has the potential to be really good. Um, Melvin Gordon. Probably an above average starter. They've got a good backfield there. Melvin Gordon's been playing at a high level for so long. Uh, he, of course, he's had his couple of years where he's had some downtime, but I think, uh, I, think I like the situation he's in now. They were talking like a 60-40 or 70-30. I forgot which one it was. Uh, split between between uh, Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams. Clyde Edwards, Elair. Average starter, as much as I hate to say it. Uh, he's probably better than these guys. Probably, probably about there. Uh, yeah, so I hate to say it, but C-A-E-H. Clyde Edwards, Elair. I don't know. I don't see anything special in him. And Rojo, just a backup or below average starter at best, probably sort of guy. I have no idea who that is. I'm not even going to lie. Is that Damian Pierce? Who the heck? Who is that? Uh-uh. I'm not ranking him. Rashad. It might be Damian Pierce. It does not look like Damian Pierce at all, though. We're not going to use it as Damian Pierce. All right, Josh Jacobs up next. He's really good. He's really good. People forget how good he is. He's very underrated. Good back. Solid always. He just played in the Hall of Fame game. Looked great on like seven carries, I think it was. So, yeah, I'm not even going to rank whoever the hell that is because I have no idea. You guys tell me down in the comments. Yikes. Um. Any oh, that's Zamir White. That's Amir White. I think he'd be a blow average starter in the league. Same with his teammate Kenyon Drake. Austin Eckler's near elite for sure. Isaiah Spiller, this is. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Isaiah Spiller. 
premier backup probably for now, right? We'll see what uh, what role he plays after this season or if Austin Eckler leaves the team and he takes over one day. Good for him. But I think this year he'll be a, a top caliber backup, maybe all the way up here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm so tired of yawning. Um, Ezekiel Elliott. He is nothing special. Maybe really good at best. But right now, I think that he's going to be an above average starter at best. It is ridiculous to say, thinking of how good he's been throughout the course of his career. And I hate to put him there. And I'm going to make the bold take of the century. Tony Pollard is really good. Really, really, really good. Fast on his feet. Really agile. Uh, got great vision. Uh, being a returner and all. And oh my god. If he got the opportunity, all oh, we could see him explode this season. Uh, Saquon. All right, Matt Breida. Uh, I don't know where he's playing now. Where's Matt Breida playing? He is on the New York Giants, and I think yeah, you know, he's a backup. He's a backup, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slip Isaiah Spiller, probably Bob Rojo there. Uh, a little change that I want to make. Uh, Miles Sanders, probably in this really good category. I think, yeah, I think he's more of a Saquon. Oh, God, I can't keep Pollard there. I can't do it, but, oh, yeah, we, we tried our best. Kenneth Gainwell uh, could easily, easily be an average starter. Uh, great player. Uh, some boom potential. Like to see it. Antonio Gibson's really good. I think people do forget, but I think that we'll put him there for now. I think they're gonna minimize his role, especially having a three three running back backfield with JD McKissick, him, Brian Robinson. And they've also got Jarrett Patterson. So speaking of JD McKissick. Um if he were to start, he'd probably be what did I just say? He'd probably be a below average starter, David Montgomery. Near elite as a runner, probably, but as an all around running back and like how dynamic he is, he's probably just really good. Leal Herbert. As a starter, you know, I'm I'm even I mean I can't put him on the same level as Paul or probably Kenneth Gainwell. He is insane. Like I think if he were to get a, a starting job, oh my god. God, I think he's like same situation as Dearness Johnson. Um, Kenneth Gainwell would be fine in a starting role. Mike, Michael Carter would be great in a starting role. But yeah, I think that he just sits in that one. Now, DeAndre Swift, if we see him play out a full healthy season at his best, he is damn near elite. Maul Williams have a little bit of bias or, or bi bias bias towards him uh being a former packer and all but as a detroit lion i think he's not that great a starter i think Demir white could be a, probably a little bit better, probably better than rojo probably a little bit better than jamal probably a little bit better here here and here and here it probably sits at the the, the top the top of below average starter i think that's fair um i'm gonna put him here and him here that is just uh, facts, and you know it. Aaron Jones, probably one of the top seven running backs in the league. I have him here at top six right now. Uh, Dalvin Cook's going to change that now. And, uh, yeah, probably top eight. I'm looking top nine. And, yeah, I can see top nine. Yeah, I think he's a top nine running back. I think he's a little bit, probably a little bit better than De DeAndre Swift and Austin Eckler right now but uh alexander madison i also like him another guy if he got a starting role he wouldn't be all that bad or daryl patterson probably an above average starter probably a little bit better than a guy like pollard i think pollard's got to sit at the bottom of this category if he wants a place here at, at all so uh yeah i'm also gonna lower damian harris like probably probably here and then we're going to go Brees Hall all the way back here. That's safe to do. Also put ETN probably around here. Um, just kind of messing around with my rankings just within that. Damian Williams RB3. 
Uh, CMC. Uh, he's probably third on my list as of now. I know Derrick Henry's going to hit a cliff eventually, getting as old as he is, but a fully healthy CMC is the best in the league. No doubt in my mind. Um, really nice. And a backup in Chuba. Looked all right for a couple of snaps when he first came in to replace CMC. They brought in Amir Abdullah, who had a couple of good games, and kind of just shadowed out. Um, I just shouted him out, and he didn't start to do so well. He's probably averaging probably three three a carry, if I had to guess. And Alvin Kamara. Um, probably at the top of near elite. I don't know if he's going to play the full season this year. Maybe have a suspension from the whole thing that went down at the Pro Bowl. Mark Ingram. Wash, man. Uh, he probably could make the top of backup tier. But uh, as of now, I think he's just an RB3. I think that's what role he'll play. Leonard Fournette, an above average starter, or is he really good? If I'm putting guys like AJ Dillon here, but guys like Leonard, I think I think Fournette could sit at the very top of the above average starter. And this right here is my guy. Rashad White out of Arizona State University. The Sun Devils, I think it is. And so, um, This year, if he backs up Leonard Fournette, which is looking like the strongest possibility because Rojo's gone, we're going to put him right here in the average starter role. I think he's better than all of these guys and has potential to even be better all the way up to probably up here. I'm not going to lie. I can see him being an above average starter. I like him that much. Yes, I do. And speaking of above average starters, if we see James Conner do really good as he did last year, then yeah, I'm going to delete this tier. No, I don't want to raise it. I want to grab it and then delete the row. No bueno. This guy, this guy's a, this guy's an RB3, whoever the hell that is. I have no idea. You guys would have to tell me who the hell that is. Cam Akers. This is going to hurt some people. I'm going to put him at the bottom of above average starter. People think he's a big booming guy that can go out and do really good and be a near elite guy, but I don't see that at all. Um, I don't know. It could just be me. Tell me, but uh, De Daryl Henderson. I think his first name's Daryl. Whatever. Definitely Daryl. Uh, Elijah Mitchell has the potential to be really good. If I'm going to put AJ Dillon in there, I'm going to put Elijah Mitchell. Six round pick to the 49ers last year as a rookie dude i don't think he gets better um i gotta give credit to kyle shanahan and uh john lynch over there for making that draft pick that is a huge pick he, oh he's got some speed jeff wilson maybe a below average starter maybe a little bit yeah i gotta put him there Todd penny Probably an average starter, I'm not gonna lie. And then Rashad, or not Rashad, um, Kenneth Walker has the potential to be an above average starter. <sighs> uh, so yeah, that would probably do it for me. It was fun while it lasted, and um, glad I got to do this. Really fun. Uh, it was a longer one, it did not feel like 20 minutes, but spend 20 minutes on the recording. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see. Constructive criticism uh, is available too. Tell me what you think of my takes. I don't care. Uh, go, make sure to go check out all my socials too. You'll see that on the end screen here in just a second. See you later.